It looks like the power's up and running. <sighs> Fiora, what's the matter? Everyone, follow me. What is that? It looks like it's here. But it's just an image. No way. Whoa! You're right! These are memories of a time long forgotten. Fiora! Hey. They were left behind by the Machina. Before they abandoned this place, so that others may know their story. Her voice sounds like... In ancient times, when the Bionis and the Mekonis came into existence, I was born as well. Just as the Bionis had a soul, I came to exist in this world. As the soul of the Mekonis. I created my children on Mekonis, and acquired this body. They called themselves Machina, and Mekonis was transformed into a world brimming with life. The Machina gave rise to an advanced civilization, and built this great city. This city? I can't believe it used to be so lively. They lived their lives in peace and harmony. The gentle Machina worshipped me. Life also flourished on Bionis. The Machina generously shared the fruits of their civilization with the peoples of the Bionis. They believed their two worlds would grow hand in hand. Then, a terrible fate descended on them from above. With the Bionis? Wielding the Sword of Light, the Bionis attempted to destroy the Machina. Are those Telethia? I tried to save the Machina, and confronted the Bionis. And so, I confronted Zanza. Zanza? The battle waged on and on. Even as our life forces depleted, Zanz and I continued to fight. However, it did at last come to an end.
giant. This is when Zanza was imprisoned. Taking advantage of my final blow to the Bionists, its beings took Zanza and sealed him firmly away. However, the battle with Zanza had greatly consumed my life force. I warned the surviving Machina that the Bionis had not yet been destroyed and that one day he would be released. I'm the one who released him. I then entered a long and deep slumber in preparation for Zanza's inevitable reawakening. It's all clear to me, what you wanted to do. Stop the battle between the Bionis and the Maconis. Fiora, I see now. It was her inside you. Yes. Lady Maynath desired a body in which she could be free. And after you were captured by Egil's Mekon, it was I who transferred her soul into your body. But, why did it have to be my body? Because... You are close to Shulk. The heir to the Monado. <sighs> it was all because of our world. Because of Bionis that this city was devastated. Now I understand why Egil would want to stop the Bionis from reawakening. I get it too. But how's killing any of us gonna solve his problem? Precisely. What happened to the Machina was a tragedy. But we cannot forgive the Mechon attack on Bionis. What worries me is the Monado that the Bionis used. It's no different from how the legends describe, but still. It must hold a deadly power. But you have used it wisely, Shulk. It has not overwhelmed you, as it did me. He's right. If you hadn't been using the Monado, we wouldn't have lasted five minutes. But it was Zanza who bestowed this sword upon me. However, it is not Zanza who now wields the Monado. It is you, Shulk. <sighs> that is also the reason why Maynath chose Fiora as a vessel so that the tragedy of he who wields the Monado would not be repeated. The tragedy of he who wields the Monado? Shulk, believe. Believe in the path you have chosen, and those who walk it with you. Maynath once said this of the Monado. The Monado is not simply a unique weapon. It is the light within each and every person in this world. Light? What do you mean? It is the light of life. The will to survive no matter what. Perhaps Lady Maynath was drawn to your light. Beyond there lies the Maynath Shrine. Egil will be there. Is it still your intention to defeat Egil? That has not changed. We understand the history of Mekonis now. If he is willing to listen, we will try to reason with him. But if not... I understand. Then, if that is your decision, so be it. I will try to persuade Egil one last time. But I am prepared for his refusal. Venea. I know Venea said she'll try to persuade him, but she didn't sound confident. We have to go after her. But how do we get to the shrine from here? Up ahead is a transporter leading to the shrine. But it's inactive. 
We need to trigger the verification devices to activate it. We'll find one at the top of each of the four pillars. If we trigger them all, we can use the transporter. Ah, uh, how Fiora know that? Maynath's memories. She tells me these things. Do you know how to trigger them? Maybe my body itself is the key. Okay. Then let's get searching. <laughs>